So the job was a $3,500 job, and we got the job was through word of mouth. A friend of a friend was asking around, and, and my name got put in their ear. They asked me to come by, give them an, es an estimate. I gave them an estimate. They liked the number, and we got in the house and got and got going. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, check out Quote IQ. It'll be linked in the comment section and the description as well. So how long did it take to complete the job? So from start to finish on the paint was about five and a half days. And a couple of those days in the beginning were mostly doing sheetrock repair because there was a few holes in the walls. So we had to do right. some sheetrock repair. So it slowed us down in the beginning. We probably could have knocked it out in three days if we didn't have to deal with the sheetrock holes. Right. So why'd you guys go with all white on the inside? That was per request for the client. The client, they were trying to sell. And the husband and wife were kind of on two different pages. Wife wanted a custom job, two-tone. Whereas husband wanted a one tone. So after debate, um, the main factor that decided to keep it all one color was the budget. Um, in order to do a custom job would have been a little bit more. So they decided to stay with the one color to keep it in to keep it in their budget. So let's kind of transition now onto the floor job because this is a two part job. How did you end up doing the flooring for this place as well? So the floor job, it was crazy because they were asking us if we knew anybody that could do the floor job. And I just suggested, hey, you know, I, I feel totally comfortable tackling this. I've done a few of them in the past. And if you want to give me the opportunity, I'd love to, I'd love to tackle it for you. And they said yes. So we, we took on the challenge. Right. And I mean, your business is particularly a paint business, so you're not usually doing any flooring work, right? Not typically. Yeah, most of the time we're always painting. But anytime some extra kind of like opportunity pops up, like an add on to a job, I like to see if it's something I can handle and feel comfortable handling. I'm definitely going to definitely going to take the challenge. Right. So is flooring something that's relatively easy? Can people pick it up or is there like a steep learning curve? There's not a steep learning curve. It's very easy to be honest with you. You need very li limited tools on hand to get the job done. If you could read a tape measure, I mean, it's pretty much all you need to be honest. And there's plenty of tutorials and stuff online out there to help out as well. Right. As well as it looks like you have some sort of cutter um, that looks like a floor jack. So that cord, that cutter is actually, they call it a dustless cutter. Uh, that particular one is a Maverick brand. Um, it's worth every single penny. It's about a $200 tool and it's dustless. You can slide it around on the floor with you. And what it does is it just cracks the, cracks the tiles or the planks right in half and you don't have to do no cutting. So there's no mess, no mess at all. How long did it take you guys to lay the floor down? The floor took us two days, including the baseboards. And we, we painted the baseboards and installed the baseboards, cocked them, putty them, and filled all the holes as well. Right. So if you had your choice between painting and laying floor, what, what one would you choose? I probably would pick the flooring only because it's a little more labor extensive. Like I said, it's easy, but it is like strenuous work because you're on your knees, you're bending over a lot. Uh, but the money's a little bit better with the flooring, to be honest.